Imagine a world where death is no longer final, where precious memories are saved to enjoy forever, where your soul is immortal. Welcome to the Soul Cloud. Upload your soul to our dedicated servers and relax, knowing that a part of you will live on for eternity. That favorite holiday, happy moments from your childhood, meeting that special someone for the first time, all these memories saved for your digital soul and your family to revisit again and again. The Soul Cloud, saving your past to secure your future. <laughs> okay, I just had to read the official description, little official description of the game like that because it just reminds me so much of those kind of future ads that you see sometimes. That always, they always sound so happy, you know? And they sound so nice, like, ooh, this is this wonderful new technology. But in reality, they're very ominous and have horrible implications. I just love that description, and that's how I just that's how I imagined it being read out in an advertisement in my head. So it's described. Uh, Master Reboot is described as a first-person psychological adventure horror game, which is a mouthful, but sounds freaking awesome. It's available from many places, including Steam, Desora, and Green Man Gaming. I will have links to all of that in the description. Alright, so this game has gotten pretty mixed reviews overall, I would say. So I'm not expecting it to be amazing, however, I am hoping that, at the least, the strength of the visuals will be able to... will be able to carry the game, because I've seen... I've seen screenshots, and I've seen videos, and I've seen the trailer, and it is ridiculously beautiful, as you are about to see. So I'm hoping at least that will carry the game through. And I love good environments, especially unique and good-looking environments, and this game has that in spades. So I'm definitely going to love at least that part of it. We'll see how the rest of the game is as well. As always, I'm going to take my time and go pretty slowly. I like to, you know, absorb everything the game has to offer and just go nice and slow and analyze the game a bit. I like to do that as well, especially towards the end, so I will be doing all of that. That's my play style, I guess you could say. Right before I get going, though, I want to mention one little thing. I'm someone who kind of gets a little bit obsessed with technical details of games, and there's something about this game that I'm wondering. Okay, so I was looking at the system requirements for it, and the minimum requirements are very reasonable. However, the recommended requirements are very strange, at least when it comes to the memory. This is the first game I've ever seen that actually recommends 8 gigabytes of memory. I've never seen a game recommend 8 gigabytes. I think I've seen maybe up to 6. That kind of blew my mind. And it's made all the stranger by the fact that this game is actually running in 32-bit, from what I can tell. Which, for the more technically minded people out there, if anyone knows the answer to this question, please tell me, I'm really curious. Why would a game that's running in 32-bit recommend 8 gigabytes of memory? Isn't there no way it could possibly use anywhere near that much? I'm so confused, but I'm really curious. I'm kind of fascinated by it. Anyway, that's all I wanted to mention. I bet a lot of people have no idea what the hell I'm talking about, but it's okay. So let's start a new game. I played it for about... I played it for a couple minutes just to make sure it ran correctly, and it does. So I'm not going to continue. I'm going to start a new game. We'll delete your existing save. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Initializing upload. And here we go. I guess we're inside of the Soul Cloud. This game also, from what I can tell so far, seems to be incredibly well optimized. Which I guess isn't terribly surprising since it is running in the Unreal Engine, which is one of my favorite engines of all time. I don't think I've ever seen an Unreal Engine game that doesn't seem to run well. It's kind of amazing. I'm actually running this game on very high settings with VSync on, and I'm recording, and I'm getting a silky smooth 60 FPS. 
and I've only got a 560 Ti for my video card, which is not exactly high-end anymore. It's amazing. But anyway, yeah, look, beautiful. I mean, just look at the environments. From what I've seen, it's only going to get more beautiful from here on out, but it's so strange and fascinating looking. Like, what? Just let's look at the environment. What is all this stuff? Looks like a bunch of stuffed animals. A bunch of letters strewn about the ground like it just exploded out of this... I guess that was a train? I think so. I'm on an island. A very small island with absolutely no other islands or land masses visible. Someone's bag. Yeah, it's just like random stuff from the train. It's just been jettisoned around here. Okay, so apparently <laughs> there's a bit of a force field. Man, that's beautiful. Just look at the way it comes in. And the buzz as you get near it. So cool looking. Looks like a, what is that, a piece of art? Stained glass window? I can't really tell from here. It looks really detailed, whatever it is. What is this? Okay, a creepy voice just whispered, remember. Um. Oh. The body is a temporary condition. Purgatory is forever. What is that? I just pressed E, which is the use key. What is that? The body is a temporary condition. Nope, that's not creepy at all. Great. Yet another thing that whispers to me. Also, this looks like some sort of a crystal formation. Let's use it. It, um, got bigger. Looks like a portal. I guess I have no choice. <laughs> so, did I mention that this game was beautiful? Boy, is it. I kind of wish I had super mouse, mouse smoothing on so I could get really nice sweeping camera shots without being all jerky. But God, is this game beautiful. Just look at this. Look at, oh, the, the colors. Just look at how rich and beautiful the colors are, alone. Just not even looking at anything else, just look at... Like, half blue and half... Wonderful... Golden, like, maple syrup. And over here, it's like, cooling and calm. Beautiful, just so beautiful. It's really strange how the color is distributed, too. It doesn't seem to be lighting on the ground. Because if I keep moving, it the blue keeps moving as well. 
It's like it's based on where your view is looking, not actually on the ground. Which is very strange. I don't even want to move. I just want to stay here for the rest of the game and just look up at these these god rays. Look at the light filter in through the trees. Ah. Okay, I guess I should go. But of course, I'm not going to go forwards. No. That's lame. I'm going to go r backwards. Into the trees. See if there's anything here. Oh. Another force field. It's actually a pretty cool idea to have this force field, because normally a game would have... They might have something like an invisible wall, for example. Which I'm sure everyone's encountered and everyone has been frustrated by. It's always very obnoxious when you see... Oh, I can go there, and then you walk up, and suddenly, you can't. It feels so arbitrary. But, because of the world that it's set in, it makes sense for there to actually be a barrier. And, well, you can actually see it, so it doesn't feel completely arbitrary. It just, it feels right, it doesn't feel annoying. It feels like it fits in. I like it. I'm gonna go off in this direction, even though there's probably just gonna be another force field. Yeah, okay, fine. I'll go forwards. Hmm. I really thought I was gonna be jumping over this. Apparently I have to go around. That's disappointing. Unless... What if I sprint jump? Nope. Eh, no. Wow, do I have, like, really short legs or something? Can I seriously not jump onto that? It doesn't look very tall. Okay. Is it? Oh, I guess there's very specific spots that you can jump over? Oh, this is a tutorial. Okay, yeah. Crouch. I just realized that. That makes sense, I suppose. Look at this geometry. That's weird. Why is it showing me a picture of someone with a hurt back? Are you okay, little man? Do you need to see the doctor? It looks like you need... It looks like you need help. He looks like he's in pain. Anyway, yeah, look at the geometry. Very strange, very blocky. It's interesting, the fire actually looks super pixely, but I suspect that's actually on purpose. Since it is supposed to be a sort of digital world with lots of... sort of digital aberrations, if that's the right word. You know, corruption and stuff like that. Oh my god, the god rays, look at that, look! I could cry, it's so beautiful. I'm just gonna stare at this for like 10 seconds. Just, just look at that. That is unbelievably beautiful. I just noticed you can even see leaves falling from the trees. Ah. It's a beautiful place. Of course, it's described as, what was it, a psychological horror adventure game or something like that, so it's probably not going to stay this happy for forever. But for now, let's enjoy it. Whoa. It's pulsing. With, like, circuits. Look at that. Wait, I can actually pick that up? Can I actually have a weapon in this game? Oh. I had no idea there's... Is there going to be combat?
Can I chop down some trees? Actually, I appear incapable of chopping anything. Also, it appears to be made out of circuits, kind of. Which is a little bit strange. Uh, I think I might have a corrupted axe. Could someone please give me a new axe? This one appears to be incapable of colliding with things. I think it's bugged. No? No one's gonna give me one. Wait a minute. I have to chop my way out of here or something, don't I? This is a dead end. Oh. That was loud. Holy crap, if you go up to this, you just like disappear into the dark. Look at that. It's kind of scary. Oh. I... This looks kind of big. I can just chop it? Whoa. There's apparently destructible environments. That's actually really cool. This must be some of the weakest wood ever made, and it does actually sound like it's completely hollow and... Oh, it sounds like driftwood or something. Which is very strange, but just the fact that there's actually destructible environments is very cool. You might ask why I'm chopping every single bit down when I could have just walked through a minute ago. And the answer is because I can. Oh, I'm not done yet. What are you... Stop floating. You're not allowed to float. All right. A job well done. God, it's beautiful. Okay, I'll just walk through this one. I'm just gonna see if I can chop everything. another one of those things. Ooh, can I go there? I'll have to see if I can find a way. I swear, one of the shadows up there looks like it's in the shape of a duck. I'm not kidding. Right on that huge rock. It looks like a duck. Anyway. Let's see if this one gives me another inspiring message about the futility of life. Be fearful. I am ferocious. I'll show you no mercy. Yeah, I feel inspired. Great. Oh, calm down. Calm down. I feel like you could make about I feel like you could make a wallpaper out of every single scene in this game that I've seen so far. Okay, I'm not crazy. That totally looks like a duck, does it not? The shadow? On the big rock? That looks like a duck! You can even see its bill. That's totally a duck. Wait a minute. It actually might be seriously a duck, because there's a duck right there. I get there. I'm obviously not supposed to go here, so if I actually manage to get through here, I would be kind of breaking the game. Let me see if there's an alternative pathway, something I can chop to. Oh, yeah, of course. The collision on this thing is really wonky. There we go. That totally looks like it, but I don't see how its shadow could possibly be getting from here to there. Hmm. 
Anyway. Hello, golden duck. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell is that? Uh... Okay, it's on my screen. What, what does that mean? I now have a golden duck on my screen. And it made an adorable little noise, but what can I do with it? I don't think this game has an inventory system. Let's look around here. Have I been here? I... Nope, I haven't. What if I can go up? I don't see a pathway. No. Did I just find, like, a collect... Oh, wait, wait a minute. Maybe I can. Ooh. Is there falling damage? I guess we're about to find out, because I need to try it. For science! But did I just find a collectible? And if I did, why is it stuck on my screen? Because I would like it to go away. That's what makes me think it's not a collectible. It makes me think it's an item I need to use somewhere. Which is why... Oh, God! Which is why it's on my screen. To remind me that I have it, because I need to use it. Yeah, you can't get up there. At least I don't think so. Let me try it one more time. I don't think I'm... That's too steep. Oh. No, maybe? Maybe not. I love getting to places you're not supposed to be. It's always so fun. Am I making progress? I don't think I am. Oh, no. No, I don't think I can. Okay. Right, so I probably look like a crazy axe murderer running through the woods with a duck in my other hand. Self-propelled, sort of. Apparently the Soul Cloud has very strange puzzles. Maybe this is the equivalent of, like, the, the CAPTCHA, meant to keep bots out, except instead it's solving puzzles. No, I don't think there's any particular rhyme or reason to what's happening at the moment. I think it's just tutorial stuff. What is up with where this axe hits? I'm trying to figure out how it works. It's obviously not... It's not... It's not doing the old thing where it's like shooting a projectile from the center of the screen. I think it's actually colliding with the geometry and deciding wherever it hits is where it hits. I think. It seems like it, yeah. Hm. That's totally the shadow of a duck. Ooh. More of those fiery pillar things up there. More over here, too. I think I'm going to be going up the mountain. I love the environmental design. It's gorgeous. Also, something really strange that I've noticed about the movement sounds is that it sounds like my footstep sounds are constantly coming from the back left 
of me. Like, listen to them. It sounds like they're mixed further to the left. It sounds very strange. It was that way on the beach, too. It's been that way the whole time. Really weird. It makes me feel a little bit disoriented. This is the duck shadow. Which, now that I'm up here, doesn't look anything like a duck. But it did down there. You kind of see it. That big dark spot right there is the head, and that's the bill. Oh! I guess we're gonna worship the mighty duck. Everything just looks so smooth. I love how smooth everything looks. You know, the geometry is relatively... Actually, no, it's very basic. It's very simple. It's, you know, it's meant to be. A lot of blocks, a lot of rectangles. But somehow, just the way everything looks, the lighting just makes everything look so gorgeously smooth. Alright, what is this? Hmm. Oh, I guess I need to put it down. <laughs> what a way to start the game. Take one last look at this place. I wish I could get the stupid axe out of my face. Time to leave you. To an environment even more beautiful than this one? Is it possible? Let's find out. Mm -hmm. Okay, not so much beautiful as creepy. Looks like a gigantic chasm of endless night. The hell is that noise? That's gonna call some sort of a car, isn't it? Some sort of a travel thing. Or is it just making a bridge? Oh. No, yeah, okay, that's what I was hearing, yeah. That's what I thought it was gonna call something. Apparently not, though. There's traveling down there. <laughs> Listen to the buzzing sound this thing makes. I don't know if that's the track down below, or this bridge. Let's watch them come again. What is this place? One more time. Here they come. love the soft glow that everything has. A street light. This isn't even a street. What the hell? If this is my memory, then it looks to have been warped. Remember when you said... I'll always be there for you. Soul Cloud, TM. Look at this. Even this cassette doesn't appear to be a proper rectangle. Or VHS? Was that a VHS? Looked like a cassette. Okay. Like everything's warped. They're not the right shape. Not even all the chairs have armrests. Which is really weird. Maybe that's a common thing. I don't know. S 
Saren? Serene? .exe? I can see something in there. Vaguely. Looks like something suspended by a bunch of tubes. <laughs> and what's through this doorway is an endless hallway. Let's watch a movie. Are you disoriented yet? Welcome to the Mystery Foundation. Mystery Foundation. As a new employee, you are now a part of our ever-growing family. A family that provides two million users with entertainment, comfort, and happiness every day. A family voted number one in Decade Magazine's most influential companies of all time. A family committed to bringing people together. But what does mystery actually do? We are proud to introduce to you the Soul Cloud. Users upload their memories, together with vital personality statistics and traits, to our dedicated servers, where our industry-leading engineers sculpt this information into digital cities, towns, and gardens. Upon the user's expiration, a digital soul is created which can relive these memories again and again. What's more, the deceased's family and friends can visit their soul whenever they like, making death a thing of the past. But where do you come in? As part of the Soul Cloud's maintenance staff, you'll be working together with Seren, the Cloud's innovative security system, to do whatever it takes to ensure the smooth running of the system, from recovering vital data to walking Mrs. Smith's digital dog. As a Mystery Foundation employee, you are now a part of our family. Together we can make the impossible possible. Oh, well, this looks great. Right, so I guess I'm probably endlessly searching through fragments of my own memories. It sounds like there's something breathing down my neck. And by the way, if you had trouble hearing what she was saying, I did too. She was... What the fuck is that sound? What the hell? Hold on, I just, I just need to check something for- oh god, that's right. Ah, oh, you- I forgot you can't enter the options menu from here. I was gonna say, if you had trouble hearing her, um, I did too, because for some reason her volume was mixed very low. And there's no subtitles, because I believe you can't actually turn them on. I didn't see an option for that. Unfortunately, I can't double check right now, without actually quitting the game. I'll wait until I get to a new area and check it. Whoa! What the hell? Oh, hi, Saren! Whoa. What the? That's super awkward. I thought it teleported me, but apparently it was just switching to... Very awkwardly switching to another camera angle over there. Right, so the security being is... It looks like it wants to steal my soul. Which I suppose it could do, because, well... It has control over everything. And my soul is this entire network kind of thing. Yeah. Oh. God, just look at how beautiful this is. Just amazing. Intrusion attempt detected. Initiating quarantine. Uh, that's not good. I think I should run. Yeah, I, I think I should run. Because it looks like the entire world behind me is disappearing. How the hell did I even get here? I don't know. But yeah, let me check to make sure there isn't an option for subtitles. I don't know why you can't enter the options from the main game, so control... No, it's not there. Should be audio. Yeah, I'm... I'm sorry, but there's no way to turn on subtitles. There's volume and there's language and that's it. 
It's not in graphics. Not in controls, and it certainly wouldn't be in credits. So yeah, if you have trouble hearing some stuff, sorry. Whoops. Continue. This is so pretty, I just want to roll around in it and touch it. It's like neon grass. I'm going to go towards the light, which I've heard you shouldn't do, but I'm going to do it anyway. Aww. Look at these floating cubes. I want to catch one. It's like catching a butterfly. Is it going to hit the ground? No, it just goes right through. Look at that. Beaming up into... I would say the sky, but I don't know if that is the sky. <laughs> How cool is that? I got near the ground and reversed its direction. Go around outside before I go inside. Ooh, a tree. I still can't get over how beautiful this game is. Another duck. Handbook for new employees. Welcome to the Soul Cloud. What are these ducks? I was just wondering that. Maintenance staff, uh, maintenance staff handbook. And ducks contain messages from a resident's Soul Cloudians, family, and friends, which have been sent from the world of the living. These messages are personal, and employees are reminded that they should not be accessed unless they feel that the message contains dangerous materials such as viruses, explicit images, or inappropriate information that may upset the relevant resident. Messages, okay. Wow, so you actually can continue to talk with people that are still alive, even though you're kind of dead. Well, I mean, you read messages from them, but can you give messages to them? Is that allowed? Hmm. A simple guide to cubes. Blue teleports to another part of the current memory. Okay, so that's what I've encountered so far, right? I think? Have they been blue? I know they haven't been green or red. So I guess it's another part of the current memory. Green is returned to residence Soul Village, okay. White pure memory container, red maintenance cube allows interaction with current memory. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Induction! <laughs> Actually, crap, I was looking down at the achievement, something like, went through me that had text. Oh, here we go. This. Our staff are currently unavailable, but please feel free to enter the Soul Cloud TM. Just enter the portal behind the counter and you will be transported to your registered hub city. Thank you. Also, can I also say that I love the motion blur? Look at the motion blur. Look at it. It's so beautiful. I, some people hate motion blur, but I love it when it's done subtly. You can certainly overdo motion blur and everything just looks like it's smearing like crazy. But a nice, subtle motion blur really does wonders to making a game look nice and smooth. And this one is perfect. Look at that. Oh, yeah. It turns something that would look choppy to looking smooth. <laughs> I 
I had to. Aw. You can't read it from this way. My God. Look at this. Oh my God. It's good looking. Can I go knock on someone's door? There's probably no one else here. I'm gonna take that as a no. Childhood memory. Can I go inside? I, I'm gonna take that as a no as well. However, I can make music. I'm guessing you need to unlock different parts of your memory. Street memory. School memory. Park memory. goes. Flying memory. Fairground memory. <laughs> Look at the way it's all shifting around. Like it's not quite stable. Really cool and nice little details they put in to a lot of the environments. Just the way this stuff moves. It's moving around like it's not quite stable, and these circuit boards, or the circuit... Circuits, I guess. The way the colors are just shifting. Beach memory. Hospital memory, that can be good. There's a lot of memories. Circus. Graveyard, ugh. A library. Alright, looks like there's only one way to go. Here. What are these things? I'm guessing I'm gonna do something with them. They look like maybe you need to put blocks inside of them or keys of some sort. Whoa. Uh, what? The game has a ten seems to have a tendency to take away control from you far too much. I don't know why I did that. I was looking at that thing that looks like a crumbling cube sort of thing. And then the game just took away control and just did that. Very strange. It's done that quite a few times, too. Like when I first came into the forest after I did the first teleportation. It was like a, a five second scene where it's, you're just your character's looking around and you can't move. And, I mean, the environment is so beautiful, just, you know, let me look around, don't do it for me. Look at that little cube. I feel sad for it. It's so small and cute, but it's so broken. Alright, so I guess I kind of touched the thing almost, and then it exploded, and now everything is unlocked! Well, actually, no, not everything. I'm guessing the red lights mean they're locked? Yeah. Only the green one, so it looks like I can access the first four? Yeah. Childhood, street, school, and park. 
Should I just go from the right and go to the left? Yeah, why not? Alright, starting with childhood. Ducks. And more ducks. So many ducks. Big ducks, medium ducks, small ducks, and extra small ducks. What the? Okay, that's strange. Is some... Movies, I think? Sleeping Beauty, Peter Pan, Alice Through the Looking Glass, The Tiger, The Wizard, and The Wardrobe. A little tiny duck. What the? What am I reading? I just pressed E and now I'm... Hmm. Okay. Now, if you only attend, Kitty, and not talk so much, I'll tell you all my ideas about looking at Glass House. First, there's the room you can see through the glass. That's just the same as our drawing room, only the things go the other way. I can see all of it when I get upon a chair. All but the bit behind the fireplace. Oh, I do so wish I could see that bit. I want so much to know whether they've a fire in the winter. You can, you never can tell, you know, unless our fire smokes, and then smoke comes up in that room too. But that may be only pretense, just to make it look as if they had a fire. Well then, the books are something like our books, only the words go the wrong way. I know that, because I've held up one of our books to the glass, and then they hold up one in the other room. Oh kitty, how nice it would be if we could only get through into Looking Glass House. I'm sure it's got oh such beautiful things in it. Let's pretend there's a way of getting through into it. Somehow, kitty. Let's pretend the glass has got all soft like gauze, so that we can get through. Why, it's turning into a sort of mist now, I declare. It'll be easy enough to get through. She was up on the chimney piece while she said this, though she hardly knew how she had got there. And certainly the glass was beginning to melt away, just like a bright silvery mist. Is, is this from a real story? I actually have no idea. If I had to guess, I would say it's from Alice Through the Looking Glass, but I don't actually know what that is. Oh, look at that kitty, it's so cute. Massive tail on that cat, too. Someone doesn't want me getting into my closet. Okay, so that'll take me back home, out of the memory. So I guess it's kind of like semi-open world, where you have this sort of hub and you can go to different levels and, I guess, solve puzzles or do something. Uh, but you don't have to, you could always come back and just do a different one. It's weird. Obviously, it's kind of reflecting what's behind me. Sort of, although not directly behind me. It's kind of off to the side more. Also, it's all distorted. Whoa. What the? Oh my god! <laughs> what the hell? <sighs> this is so cool! And I can just go back. It's like a totally distorted, massive version of my room. That, or it's a totally distorted, normal-sized version of my room, but I'm just tiny. I don't know, but this is so cool. Look at this. <laughs> Apparently, I need three keys. 
according to the thing in the top right. Better not stick my hand in there. I feel like I'm walking into a trial. Look at this. Like the bear's on trial. And you're the judge. And apparently this bear isn't too happy with how it's going. Hello? Whoa. What was that noise? that symbol? wonder if it means something. Nope. Well, I mean, I can't do anything with it. It doesn't necessarily mean it means nothing. Princess Moons. Glow-in-the-dark glue. Now with no pony hooves. Excellent. It's rather dark here. I guess I have to follow the path. Hmm. Looks like a bit of a maze. Hold on, did I finish exploring back here? No, I definitely didn't. What the hell? What's that sound? Wait, is that for me sprinting? Oh, maybe you get tired when you sprint for a while. Let's find out. I'm going to sprint in a circle. <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay. From an angel into a demon. There's that sound again. Whoa. That was unexpected. <laughs> Hold on, before I do that, I want to check out this creepy little thing that's going to tell me something that's going to make me want to curl up and die, probably. We form a complete circle of creation and destruction. What are these? Who put them here? And why is the art for them so creepy? Hold on, what was down here? Oh, nothing. I could get up here, which would allow me to get over to the duck. But before that, let's go up here. What the heck? Chat log. I tried changing it a bit, but it didn't do anything. Astrid Patterson? I don't know why it's not working. Madison, do you want me to have a check through it? Madison, just copy and paste it into a word processor and I'll have a look. Astrid, really? That would be awesome. Madison, no worries. I'm sure you're just missing a bracket somewhere. Astrid Patterson has sent you Astrid... Astrid Awesome OM... Astrid Awesome GameProg.txt? A missing bracket. It must be talking about code. But whose chat log am I reading? Is this my own? I 
I can't read upside down. I have no idea what that says. Alice. Oh, it must be Alice through the looking glass. Okay, yeah, Alice through the looking glass. I mean, those ducks are supposed to have... The ducks are supposed to have messages from family members. But why would somebody send that as a message? A snippet from one of their chat logs. Ooh. One down. I'm gonna assume there's no falling damage. There isn't. Angelina Small House. Warning, dangerous levels of awesomeness. Remember to take a break every four hours. <laughs> Alright, I think it's time to check the mini homes. The dollhouses, which are actually kind of normal sized for me. Sort of. I think I have to solve this puzzle to be able to open this one. Okay, three blocks. So I'm guessing one has to be set to, to that. The eye. So green eye. There's no way for me to get to the upper floors, is there? Actually, maybe I could jump from up here. Over. Whoa. Jesus Christ, what the hell is that noise? That scared the hell out of me. Does that keep happening every time I leave one of these homes? Doesn't seem like it. What? Hi, doll. Your face looks kind of creepy there. Dun, 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 dun. Some sort of a non copyright infringing game console, I believe. I was wondering what I just opened. Alright, red pyramid. I'll just write that down. Okay, I think I actually can jump over. Yeah. There we go. Whoa! Jesus Christ! What the? I'm not sure what that's asking me to do. Click. What the hell was that? <laughs> I didn't expect that, and I don't know what it was asking me to do. I think it was a QTE, but I... I don't know, I, I kept clicking the left mouse button, but I don't know... I'm not sure if that was it. I think I failed it. Let's try that again, shall we? Was that Saren? Saren in the closet? There you are again! It's asking me to click. Is, is it saying click? I'm clicking, I don't... E? 
Space? Whoa. I don't understand. I believe I'm failing the QTE. I th I'm not even sure it is a QTE. I'm pretty sure it is, though. What is it asking me to do? Mash E? The, the hand icon isn't particularly helpful. I... I'm gonna try E. I'm trying E. I'm trying E. Okay, it was E. Yeah, screw you, creepy closet ghost. That's what I get for exploring. Let's get to the lower floor. Hello. Alright, so it's the... I was gonna say plus sign, actually. It's more like a cross, I guess. Blue Cross. That's the name of an insurance company. So, I wonder who I'm looking at. Like, who's who? Obviously, it looks like two parents and their daughter. Am I the daughter? And I died, or...? I'm assuming I'm the kid. I I'm just not sure about, like, the timeline of this, because there's supposed to be messages from family members included on these ducks. So, are they giving me... Pictures from my childhood? I'm not really sure. What's that thing that just popped up? The hand icon just popped up. There we go. What the? This is like the only closet you can open and there's nothing in it? That's weird. Let's get this key. Alright, red pyramid. And blue cross. Third one must be... over here... with the creepy glowing glue trail. No pony hooves. Which way? Let's go left. I don't know what that is that's glowing slightly blue, but it looks kind of creepy. This is definitely a maze. Let's go left again. Whoa. Whoa! Okay. Some of the darker parts of my memory. I'm gonna go towards the welcoming duck and not the imposing bear. My pewter? Does that say my pewter? Programming made easy. 306 free codecs included. 2 gigabytes preloaded memory card, 512 megabytes RAM, easy start guide. Well, someone was definitely interested in programming, which is very cool.
Oh, so I guess if you go to the wrong place, you just get a random fail state? That's kind of weird. Well, I mean, it's not random, but still. Just kind of like a waste of my time. I don't care for that too much. Let's hope there's not too many of them. Right, let's go right this time. Oh, another duck. Hail. Hail Studios, Bakewell something something. Dear Miss Jones, thank you for your interest in Hail Studios. We are glad you enjoyed our recent Angelina Small House release, and your feedback will be passed on to our development team. We do not currently conduct studio tours at our Cardiff offices because of uh, security reasons, but we do offer summer internships and work experience placements for university students and graduates. We will be happy to consider an application from you once you have started a relevant course from one of our recommended universities. See our website for details. We wish you the best with your studies. Yours sincerely, Louise Smith. Communications officer. I guess I went the right way, unless this is the trap. No, that wasn't a trap. All done. But, what do I actually do with the key? Oh, that must be for the closet. Because there were three locks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I feel like I'm about to get run over. I'm in the streets. Oh. Well, I guess I should probably run. Oh. Well. <laughs> run backwards and get another insta-fail state. Right, so I can't go forwards at all, right? Well, what is this? Do you fear death? Um, not really, because I just respawn. Be fearful, I am ferocious, I'll show you no mercy. What are you talking about? Go away. I have to close all the pop-ups before I can continue. Stupid pop-ups! Go away! I thought I had ad block. That's it for my childhood memories. Angelina Smallhouse and a love of coding. Which is very, very cool. I wonder what that does. Oh, it takes you through all the different pieces that you found. That's cool. So you can look through it again. Street memory. Well, look at the way it's all twisting around. Very subtly, but you can see it's moving. Well, let's try this one next. <laughs> 